they found that like a 0.1% solution of that type of stem cell, which are vegan, by the way, all the stuff that we do is vegan. Well, they actually found out that those apples help to rejuvenate your own stem cells. So it's almost like a stem cell builder. It helps your own stem cells to live longer and to proliferate more. You are listening to The Dr. Haley Show, the podcast dedicated to helping you optimize your health. Each episode, there will be an interview or a message to help you discover better health. We will be featuring health radicals on the show to bring new ideas to the table, as well as doubling down on key fundamentals to support you living your best life. Your host is no other than the founder of Haley Nutrition, Dr. Michael Haley. This is the Dr. Haley Show podcast, and today I'm sitting here with Carlos, who is an acupuncturist, and we're going to talk about some pretty cool anti-aging techniques today. Carlos, thanks for joining me today. Where are you practicing? The name of your clinic it's, is? Yeah, it's called Needles and Acupuncture, and it's in Fort Lauderdale. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, chiropractors, we are focused on the central nervous system, making sure that the nerve channels are opened up so that people have less pain but their bodies work more like they're supposed to because if the nerve signal isn't getting to an organ for instance it might not be functioning at a hundred percent what is the system that acupuncturists use so the acupuncturists pretty much use the meridian system so they follow the energy channels in the body with thousands of years of acupuncture training they have found points that actually stimulate certain conditions. There's a lot of conditions that can be treated through these points. In addition to that, there's also some Western acupuncture that they've added, and there's also different styles of acupuncture. So there's Japanese, there's Korean, there's Chinese. So I've been trained in traditional Chinese, but I also have a lot of training in Korean and Japanese acupuncture. And just to tell you a little bit of the difference, the Japanese and the Korean are a lot gentler than the Chinese acupuncture, but they all have their place. I use a combination of all three. Koreans actually work a lot with the meridians in the body. So just to give you an example, the energy channels in acupuncture always start on the chest, to the hand, hand to the head, head to the feet, feet to the chest. Okay, so what the Koreans have done, which is why it's actually my favorite out of all three styles, is they treat according to the energy flow in the body. So there's 12 main channels in the body. There's also some other channels, but the main ones are 12. And it starts with the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, UB, kidney, PC, Sanjiao, GB, liver. So there's four cycles. There's three cycles of four channels moving across the body to get to those 12 oh. channels. So what they do a little different, which I find really interesting, is that they treat according to that flow of energy. And I tend to think, from my experience, it seems to work a lot better. So for example, somebody has a headache. There's something called an excess headache. There's also something called a deficiency headache. So an excess condition would be something that you have too much of in the body, like let's say you have blood stagnation and you have blood that's not supposed to be there, then that would be an excess. A deficiency is something that you don't have enough of. Like caffeine. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so in essence, the Koreans will look at the excess and deficiency when they're treating a headache. The Chinese, a lot of them will use a point on the hand called LI4, which helps for headaches. But there's one catch. If you have an excess headache, and you're using LI4, more energy shoots up to the head. And at that point, what happens, you actually can get a worse headache from treating by using that point. The Koreans would use the points on the feet for an excess headache because from the hands moving down to the feet, which is the channels, there's three channels that go down the hands to the feet. And that would actually help to reduce that headache. That's interesting. You're bringing back a memory time when I had acupuncture done and the point was right there where a needle put right there mm -hmm. and I didn't even feel it go in or anything like that but after a few minutes I could feel that 
throbbing like Tingling. something was happening. Some, yeah. And I'm thinking, what is going on? How could that little needle that's really just in the surface, mm -hmm. what, what is happening? So when you poke the needle, you're actually stimulating an immune response. And so it releases a lot of chemicals in the body. There's endorphins and kephalins. And a lot of people think acupuncture is just great for pain. But there's a lot of other conditions that it works for. So when you're actually needling, the Chinese believe that you're actually stimulating the flow of energy in the body in those meridians. And that's how they can use it to treat other things that Westerners wouldn't normally treat. So one of the things I wanted to say, which I think is a really important thing, I always recommend getting acupuncture for someone who's nationally board certified. But I also recommend that you go to a traditional practitioner there's other people who can treat an acupuncture, but they're really just doing trigger point therapy. It's not the same. It's more for pain. So like a physical therapist, doctors, and chiropractors, they actually do acupuncture. It's called trigger point is what they're doing. And their training is a lot less than what we have. We have about th almost 3,000 hours of clinic hours, whereas the, what they have is maximum of 200 hours. So that I, makes I completely it, understand because there's it's like if me I, medical doctors that do chiropractic. Yeah. And I sure, I'm sure to you that's like, oh, wow, that, that shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> yeah, they, they, go to a, they go to a weekend course. That's exactly it, yeah. So that's what happens with acupuncture. So I've had, I get a lot of people in the clinic who come in and they're like, oh, I was treated by a physical therapist, but I didn't really get a lot of results. It wasn't the same. I'm like, because they're not actually using traditional Chinese medicine. When we use traditional Chinese medicine, we look at the tongue and the Chinese pulses. So that's another thing. We can check the pulses of all the different energy channels in the wrists. And by feeling those pulses, you can know what's excess and what's deficient. There's a yeah. lot, there's different things that you look at. It's not just excess deficiency. There's also different types of pulses, which will tell you what the person has. Yeah, and we're not discrediting people that do no. acupuncture. And certainly there's benefit, but there are different levels of training and exactly. education. And I, I would liken some of the chiropractic, I've, I've likened it to intimacy. Even when it's bad, it's still pretty good. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I agree. <laughs> like some acupuncture is better than no acupuncture, correct? <laughs> <laughs> if you can't relate to the intimacy, pizza. Even bad pizza is still pretty good. I've oh, never had really I, horrible pizza. I don't, no. <laughs> I don't know pizza. about that. I'll, you I'll, had bad pizza. I'll tell you a little story. So... <laughs> Pepe's Pizza is, I'm fr I lived in Connecticut for a long time, and Pepe's is considered one of the best in the U.S. It's actually like number one to five always ranked in the U.S. And they just opened one in Florida. It's, but it's nothing like the one in Plenty. When I went over there, I didn't think it was very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I think there is bad pizza sometimes. Okay. Well, maybe we're spoiled. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Actually, in Florida... Yeah. It's voting season, and there's an amendment three, I think, is the marijuana amendment. So if that passes mm -hmm. and, and people are using that, then the bad pizza will probably be pretty good. Exactly, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> okay, so we talked a little bit about acupuncture and what it is, but I, I don't really think that, and maybe I'm wrong about this because I don't understand cosmetic acupuncture. Is it using the same, we're talking about, anti-aging using acupuncture for anti-aging now is that using the same meridian system what is it so there are a lot of meridians that go through the face so and yes we are using some of the meridians but we're also using the areas where the people have wrinkles to help to get rid of wrinkles so what's happening when you do acupuncture you're creating a small wound into the skin and when you create that wound it actually stimulates more circulation. There's also a nerve conduction, but there's also, it's also attracting fibroblasts to the skin. And what fibroblasts do is they actually help with the collagen, elastin, and even hyaluronic. These are, these are the cells that actually help to produce that. So you're actually getting a, a bunch of fibroblasts moving up to that area. Now, there's other things that we're doing. One of them is microneedling. And to me, this is the most effective thing, but we're actually using TCM herbal serums. So I custom make serums using certain types of stem cells from Chinese medicine and also the actual herbs that we actually mix into the serums 
to help stimulate the promotion of collagen into the face. Are you enjoying the show thus far? One of the many health secrets that we have covered on the show is all around aloe vera, specifically drinking raw aloe vera. Our aloe vera has helped our customers effectively heal their gut, increase their intestine health, lower inflammation in the body, eliminate and or decrease acid reflux, have glowing skin and hair, and so much more. Now, as a frequent member of our audience, you will be exposed to exclusive specials and coupon codes for the awesome products manufactured by Haley Nutrition. That's right, for simply being awesome and tuning in, you can get a mini discount to help you optimize and better your health. To see how we can help and support you on your health journey, tune into the episodes and listen for coupon codes that you can use at www.haleynutrition.com before you make your orders of raw aloe vera. Once again, it's www.haleynutrition.com. Now, back to the show. I wasn't sure what I was going to get into, but everything you're saying makes a lot of sense. When we talk about the immune response, and yes, what happens when you stimulate an immune response, immune cells come to rebuild, repair. Yes. Now, you mentioned kind of a new word for a lot of people. I'll say new word in the last decade for a lot of people, stem cells. Yes. How does that play in? So there's, there's an apple from, from Switzerland. It's the Swiss apple, but it's only one type of Swiss apple. It's, it's a Weiler apple, which actually was studied in, by scientists because the apple, they noticed that when it would fall off the tree, it didn't rot. It would last a long time without rotting. So they realized that this had some sort of properties that they could actually maybe use for rejuvenation. Um, so they once they started studying it, and they started doing so they found that like a 0.1% solution of that type of stem cell, which are vegan, by the way, all the stuff that we do is vegan. Well, they actually found out that those apples help to rejuvenate your own stem cells. So it's almost like a stem cell builder, it helps your own stem cells to live longer and to proliferate more. Now, should do we eat these apples? How does this serum, this apple serum get into? Okay, the so tissue? if you put Sir, one of the problems with skin care is that if you're putting serums on your face, they're temporary. It's not going to be a permanent result. So when we, what we need to do is we need to make sure that it gets absorbed into the skin so that it helps your own body to produce more stem cells. So I'll give you an example. Hyaluronic acid is one of the things that they use a lot. So hyaluronic acid, if you put it on the skin, it attracts water to the skin and it gives you like a glowy, plump look to the face. When you microneedle, you're actually putting small, making small holes into the skin. We call, I say it, it's like creating micro channels into the skin so that the serums can absorb more. So the studies show that microneedling helps serum absorption up to 3000%. Okay? okay. And also there's something called nano needling. So there's certain areas of the face where you can't actually use needles. Um, because it's contraindicated, like the bags around the eyes. So they've developed a technique. It's like little, it's a little circular machine. It's called a microneedling pen. And it actually stems, I'll tell you a little bit about the history of it. It comes from Chinese medicine. So there's something called a plum blossom needle. They also call it a seven star needle. Um, the branch that I'm following is called Mei Rong. It's a branch of Chinese medicine that they've used for thousands of years that's used for rejuvenation. So the plum blossom needle is like an ancient microneedling machine. It's a circular mallet that they would hit the skin and they would pretty much do the same thing that they do with the microneedling pen. The only thing is the microneedling pen creates a lot more holes, a lot more micro channels, and it's more accurate because you can actually control the depth. So one more thing that I wanted to talk about is the, the new method of doing microneedling is very different to what you see out there. Like what TCM people are doing is totally different to what they're doing in the Western world with it. I've, have you heard I, of vampire facials? Well, no, I haven't. Okay. But I, I'm, I, I want you to compare this as, as you're talking about this, I'm almost imagining like 
getting tattooed with a needle that's putting ink into the skin. How aggressive is it? Is it painful? That's what I was going to talk about next. So the, the TCM approach is super gentle. So it, it all depends on how deep you go. So they've actually done studies back when microneedling first started. They used to think that you had to go super deep. And there's a lot of people who are outdated with the way they're actually doing microneedling now because they're doing it really deep. And if you look on Facebook and Twitter and all these apps, you see people bleeding all over the place mm. when they're doing these procedures. Mm -hmm. And it's actually very gentle. Like w the way I do it is totally non-invasive. And the studies show that if you do it at the correct depth without going very deep, you have to know the different areas of the face and how deep to go. You're actually stimulating what you need to stimulate for the fibroblast to start building collagen again. Okay, so our approach is super gentle. The patients, I, they never bleed. Like, you don't, it's not like what you see in Facebook where everybody's bleeding all over the place. But the stem cells and also the serums that we use is what actually does the work. Got it. They're actually customized. So there's two types of stem cells that I use. And there's five different types of herbs, herbal serums that I customize for every patient. So some patients are a little older, so I use certain herbs that help more to stretch the skin and help with the more with the elastin buildup. There's some herbs that help with the building of collagen. Then there's also some herbs that can help with acne. So microneedling can be done for acne. I do it for facial rejuvenation hair loss and stretch marks, age spots, and also in the infraorbital ridge, we yeah. use it for sagging eyes. And just to clarify, when you talk about acne, you're talking about acne damage. No, both. We actually oh. use it for both. We, we use it for acne scars, and we also use it to reduce acne. Oh. Like the serums that we use actually help. Not only that, so when you're getting a microneedling session with acupuncture, it's not just a microneedling session. So we want to get the body balanced. If you help get the body balanced, you can actually help to treat the acne with just the acupuncture itself. So all the microneedling sessions, when you get a microneedling session, we actually do body acupuncture at the same time that we're doing the microneedling. Mm. And there's a combination. So facial acupuncture, which we were talking about before, has a little bit different effect than the microneedling. If you're looking to reduce wrinkles, microneedling is the way to go. But if you're looking to help with sagging skin, then the acupuncture actually has really good results to help reduce the sagging skin. Mm. So like sagging skin in the cheeks and the neck, um, this would be the way to go with facial acupuncture. Now, if you combine all of them together, you get a much better I'm, result. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm chuckling a little bit. And this is, I'm gonna put it out there to anyone that sees my podcast regularly. I recently got a haircut. I used to have a ponytail. I remember. I, I wore yes. it in like a man <laughs> bun and stuff like that. And then one day I got out of the pool and I was standing in front of the mirror and I realized I had sagging skin only. It was right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I thought I, I'm going to have to get rid of the bun. The man boobs with the bun, I felt like I was maybe sending the wrong signal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Sorry about the sidetrack. Mm -hmm. um, when, when we're talking about this reducing wrinkles, mm -hmm. and we'll get back to the sagging skin and how that works, wrinkles specifically, because when you have dry skin, for instance, and you moisturize it, it's like night and day. Mm -hmm. Things will plump up and kind of level out. And, but that's very temporary because if you wash the oils out and stuff and your skin's dry again, it looks old again. Mm -hmm. Some of these serums, and I, I know a lot about aloe vera, and aloe vera is actually pretty cool. Yeah. If you take a, a leaf and cut it and you apply it to your skin, it almost has like a temporary facelift effect. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you wash your face, it's gone. Yes. So that's the issue with a lot of topicals that I tell you. So this is, when you're doing acupuncture, it's a process. You're not going to make your skin perfect in one session. All of my therapies, I recommend to do a four month therapy. So like if you're doing microneedling, you do once a month for four months. So you do four sessions and I do packages and great things for people so that to make it affordable for everyone. The acupuncture, the same thing, they would have to do 12 to 18 sessions. 
at 12 sessions in for acupuncture is when you actually start seeing results. Now to tell you a little bit about wrinkles, reduced density in the skin is what causes the skin to sag. Um, so there's two things that cause that. One is the muscles in the, in the face. So if you have weak or if you have tight muscles, it's going to actually reduce the density. So when we're actually needling, we're actually using points that are near the fascia, where the fascia and the muscle, mimetic muscles of the face connect. And when you needle those areas, it automatically induces an immune response, which will either help to relax that area, or it will help to increase okay. blood flow, increase chi to that area, which is actually going to help that muscle to overcome the weak nature of the muscle. Okay, and that will actually help to reduce wrinkles. But in addition to that, so the acupuncture protocol, we have 10 points that we use on the face that are for muscle tone. And then we also have points that we use on the different areas of the face where actually you might have wrinkles. So wherever the wrinkles are, we actually put needles in those areas to help stimulate fibroblasts to come to that area and produce collagen. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How many of your clients are using this in combination with Botox and are you for or against that? Against it. Everything that we do is natural. So for me, I try to get my patients to stop doing the Botox. Actually, most of the patients that I get have already stopped doing Botox when they come, but I do get some that have done it. But once they start doing the therapies, I usually don't have the problem of getting them not to do Botox anymore because the therapies work so well. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Haley Show podcast. This month, we're including some content about the founder of the Aloe Number no. 1 brand, Rodney Stockton. And to commemorate him, use the coupon code RODNEY, R-O-D-N-E-Y, for $25 off your purchase of $200 or more at HaleyNutrition.com. That's R-O-D-N-E-Y for $25 off your purchase of $200 or more now through the end of October 2024. Now, back to the show. How, how long would you say the results last and I feel like it's a funny question because like, it is. it's almost like it's taking them back to a certain point in time. Yeah, the studies show that they last three to five years once if you finish the full protocol. Okay, but I always tell people when they come in, they, they do the sessions, they do the four, the four microneedling sessions or they do the acupuncture or they do a package with everything for four months. Once they do that, you can see how you look in a year or two. And if you feel like you need a tune-up, you can just come in for one more session. Because especially the microneedling, is much, it's a much faster result than the acupuncture. The acupuncture, you need more sessions. But they're permanent. They're more permanent because you're producing your own skin, your, your own collagen. You're getting more hyaluronic acid buildup and more elastin buildup in your own body. Yeah, it, it almost seems to me like it's a weird question because it's kind of like a permanent change, but it's not going to stop the aging process. So if we bring you no. back to a certain point in time, okay, now you're aging from here. Yes, you that's know. kind of what we're doing exactly. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I asked all, I think, questions from someone who knew nothing. And I think you did a great job of explaining Thank things. You. But I probably didn't ask questions that may ha that may stimulate more conversation, things that you want to add that you haven't because I didn't know what to ask. Anything that you think of that you wish I asked? Um. There's definitely some things that we haven't talked about. I guess we could talk about the overall benefits of regular acupuncture. Yeah. So my clinic is not just for facial rejuvenation. We also treat regular patients. So one of the questions is, does it hurt? A lot of people are always worried. Well, oh my God, it's acupuncture. So I used to be afraid of needles. Before acupuncture school, I used to actually be the type of person that would go to the doctor and if I'd get an injection there was a possibility that I would faint at the doctor's office. <laughs> I have fainted three times in my life at the doctor's office from I've getting an close. injection. Yeah, so. from, but from things that don't hurt. It's yeah, more like and an it's emotional. Not, it doesn't even really hurt, but it's just a fear of it. So right. 
in my practice, I use Japanese needles. They're the highest quality needles. It's such a difference compared to the ch Chinese needles. Um, they're 10 times more expensive, but it's worth what you're getting. You're making a, a person much more comfortable. And I also feel that if the person is more relaxed, you're going to get a better result yeah. with the treatment. How so, do you control the depth of a needle? It, we have different size needles. So most of the needles are inserted to about half of what the needles size is so that's kind of how you control it you it's it's practice you just have to put thousands of needles in when i was in school i actually would practice on myself all the time and i actually give myself acupuncture treatments regularly yeah oh cool chiropractors so, can't do that we can't give ourselves chiropractic it doesn't work oh no i i actually treated myself last night so another thing i wanted to share about acupuncture i get a lot of patients who for example i might be treating them for shoulder but when i'm treating the shoulder i'm always balancing their body i always look at the tongue and pulse and i balance that body out so one thing that acupuncture does for everyone is it regulates your sleep cycle huh. it improves your digestion and just with those it also reduces anxiety stress so with those things alone, a lot of conditions can be overcome that you have. So I get patients sometimes who come in for a shoulder problem, and after they've been doing it for six, seven sessions, they're like, oh, I used to have this problem, and now, I'm, now that I'm sleeping better, I don't have this issue anymore. <laughs> if you can fix sleep alone, that is life-changing. Oh, it's life-changing. Yeah, it really is. Acupuncture puts you in a zen-like state. That's how a lot of people describe it. And that's why I chose the name Needle Zen for the company because that's how you feel when you come out of it. I, I, I'll tell you a little bit. I used to be a heavy meditator when I was younger. I did a Japanese martial arts for many years and we used to do Zen meditation. And I went through a phase in my life where I would meditate hours and hours a day. And I'm talking four hours minimum a day. On the weekends, I would do sashins, which were weekend meditations. And I did this for about two and a half years, like of intense intensity. So I describe when you get into a trance and meditation to the experience of being in a Zen state once you're actually grounded completely. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I wonder if it's similar. I, could, I probably had similar experiences in prayer, which is a form of yes. meditation. You know, of meditation course. and prayer, they kind of go together. But after so much time in deep prayer it's like you're in another dimension yes so i tell everybody there's a lot of different ways to get the same result so when i look at people who go to church or people who are buddhist and they meditate i think ev there's an, the same outcome for everyone it's just finding something that works for every single person yeah for, for me it was more like being in the spiritual realm yes if that's there's exactly a, there's it. a spiritual dimension and now you're in it and you see things that you otherwise wouldn't see. Of course. Yeah, I had a lot of experiences when I used to meditate. Um, I mean, I don't want to get too much into the details, but I've, I've definitely had experience where I get into the spiritual realm that you're yeah. talking about. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Tell me about some of your favorite uh, customer testimonials. I had a patient who had compartment syndrome the the person needs an emergency surgery. So compartment syndrome is a problem where there's the blood gets stuck and it's getting there's too much blood stuck and it has to do with the fascia. There's a problem with the blood not moving through the fascia, and what happens is the person starts getting too much blood accumulated and they end up needing emergency surgery, or or eventually they'll have to get their limb cut off or die. And I had this patient, we can't treat compartment syndrome when it's an emergency. But a lot of people, after they have that compartment syndrome, they have problems with that limb for the rest of their life. So I had a patient who came in and he had been in pain for about four years since he got the surgery on his leg. And I wasn't sure, but I always know what to do. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work because acupuncture works for about... 65 70 percent of the people that come in it's not a guarantee some things it works for some things it doesn't so i tried this what i had learned in school for compartment syndrome because it's not a very common syndrome and after the first few sessions 
he would tell me, I'm not really feeling anything changing. I still feel the pain. When he got, and I, I always tell people acupuncture is a process. I think of it as cumulative. The more you do the treatments, the better you get. So sometimes at session six, something changes. Sometimes at session 10, something changes. I usually say six is the magic number because that's usually when people are like, oh my God, what a difference. So in the seventh session, he told me, you're not going to believe it. I was able to walk yesterday without any pain for the first Mm -hmm. time. He said like around the sixth session that he started feeling some changes. And he came for about three months for acupuncture. And after the three months, he has never felt pain in that leg again. Wow. Yeah. So that's probably my favorite one. (laughs) That's really cool. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And now what about as far as the cosmetic? Well, I, I just like the confidence that it gives people. So... I've, I've had people who have given testimonials about the therapies that I'm doing. And when they do the, the micro needling with the acupuncture and the combination, I get people saying things like, oh, everybody notices a difference. When I go to places, they're like, oh, my God, you look totally different. So it's a really good feeling to know when they, they, they have increase their self-esteem because of the treatments and not only that they also feel better that's the other thing that they tell me so it improves their quality of life completely great great do you have any before and after photos that i can use and actually put out i do i can get them to you yeah i'd love to dub some over some of the things that we're yeah talking about i'll give you some before and after photos yeah some good ones (laughs) all right carlos i want you to be selfish here a a little bit right now tell me what where's your website your phone numbers anything that people need to know your best social media channels whatever they need to know to be able to find you yes so my website is www.needlezen.com so no s n e e d l e z e n.com my phone number is 9543802003 i have tiktok instagram so if they can look me up under carlos my nickname is cheeky c h i q u i Escabi, E-S-C-A-B as in boy, I. Perfect, perfect. And if anyone's watching this on YouTube or, uh, well, almost any of the platforms, I'll make sure there's links to the social media channels and website and everything either below the video or in the description or wherever I can, depending on where you're seeing this content. Carlos, thank you so much. I feel like I know a lot and I, I want I want a treatment. Oh, I I'm inviting you to come to the clinic and I will give you some treatments, okay? <laughs> Excellent. So whenever you want, and we could even make a video so people from your channel can actually see some of the things that we do. This brings up another thing too, because it is one of those things after hearing about it, I want it. Yeah. And uh, people might be in California Yeah. And, and we're in Florida and they might want this. So I get people who come like long distance. I have patients who, who come from Tampa and there's a lady that was coming from New Jersey. Like she got a treatment when she was down visiting her friend. And then she came for four months straight to get treatment. So the treatments are very good. I mean, you're, you're perfect. You're in you're in a vacation zone here in Fort Lauderdale. I am. Yes, it's right by the beach. Perfect. Around Oakland Park Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Oh, maybe I should share the, the business address also. Sure. It's Absolutely. 3015 North Ocean Boulevard, Suite C109A, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33308. Ocean Boulevard, sounds like it's right on the ocean. I hope you enjoyed that episode today on the Dr. Haley Show. Make sure to hit subscribe on whichever platform you are listening to this. If this episode made you think of someone, go ahead, take a screenshot, and share this exact episode with them. You can catch the show notes for this episode on www.drhaley.com. If you want to geek out with Dr. Michael Haley on other radical health topics, be sure to check out his YouTube channel where he posts exclusive video content. All the details are at www.drhaley.com and we can't wait to hang out with you on the next episode.